Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for this Pick a Card Tarot reading where we're looking at endings and new beginnings. Now at the time of this reading, we have just ended winter time and we are in the beginning parts of springtime. Now this is a timeless tarot reading, so whenever you are drawn to this reading will be the right time for you. So we have three piles to choose from. This is pile one with the purple plume jasper. This is pile two with the citrine. And this is pile three with the hematite. Take your time in choosing your pile. You may be drawn to more than one pile and that's perfectly all right. That's your intuition letting you know that there's a message for you in that pile. Now, these are general tarot readings, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate, leave it. It's meant for someone else. I will begin with pile one. There'll be timestamps down below for the other piles, and I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, pile one. If you chose the purple plume jasper, welcome to your reading. So we're looking at endings and new beginnings because when something ends, it makes room for new beginnings. And we'll first look at your three oracle cards and then we'll dive deeper into the reading with some tarot. Now keep in mind, this is a general tarot reading, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest because those messages are probably meant for someone else. So let's begin. We have number 46 with regeneration. Okay, this is telling me that uh, something that has ended or was wounded, this could be a healing. Regeneration to me speaks of a healing, new growth after maybe some damage has been done. And there is that ending of whatever damage you sustained, whether it's in work, uh, having to change jobs or home, relationships, friendships that have been strained, and now you are coming back and mending, regenerating that relationship to that aspect of your life. And then the energy that's coming out of that is number two with roots of abundance. Now the roots draw up the nutrients into the tree. And I find it interesting that there's two trees here. So think of yourself as a tree and you're really grounding yourself into some stability because with this regeneration card, uh, something may have fallen apart, uh, destabilized in your life. Uh, and you know what aspect that would apply to you. And you're rebuilding that foundation and you're nurturing that foundation. And if we look closely at this card, you'll see that there's a key right here. And then we have a little keyhole here. So there is something that you are about ready to unlock within yourself. You're about ready to unlock some new gifts in your life. And then we have this card, number 18. I will be reading the meaning of this card from this book. And we have the Wisdom Guide. How beautiful. Wisdom Guide is here to help you with taking in new information and teachings. Whether you are taking courses, going back to school, or learning a new skill or craft, you will find that you are able to process and retain new information more easily. Wisdom Guide also helps you to gain new insights and understandings through the intuitive channels, turning your knowledge into wisdom. 
I think that is beautiful. It's a great compliment to the regeneration and the roots of abundance, knowledge, abundance of knowledge. Uh, this again could be a new trade that you're learning or supplementing something that you already know. So let's go deeper into this reading with the tarot. Today I am using the Osho Zen Tarot. And we begin with letting go. Yeah, letting go of that pain. And when there's regeneration, this could be, sometimes you have to cut off that dead stuff, off your plant, off your tree, and let it go. And next we have understanding. And you have this deeper understanding of how to bring abundance into your life. And by letting go, you take back the control because you're trimming off the aspects that no longer serve you. You're letting those go and you understand why. And there is wisdom in that. Next, we have the lovers. This could certainly be a relationship that is budding or renewing. And uh, this could be a friend. Uh, the lovers represent a choice. But it is also a balanced acceptance of one or the other. It's reflecting what you see in yourself. Next, we have conditioning. That is something that you are letting go of, especially if people have been telling you, why are you even going for that? Why even bother trying? Uh, and just being really negative. And you may need to let go of those people and that set up that kind of conditioning or just give yourself some space away from those people and tune into your own intuition and stop being something that you're not. I mean, look how uncomfortable this lion looks because he's being forced into being something he's not and he's bound don't feel like that you're bound you are setting yourself free of those bindings and you're regenerating your true nature your true aspects what you're here to do what feels right to you next we have politics and the masks I think that this kind of goes with that conditioning and understanding the games that people play wearing masks uh, pretending to be your friend pretending that they understand what you're going through and they're just fooling you because they're trying to manipulate you and condition you and make you think that they're really this happy face when really they are being deceptive and misleading. And look, healing. Okay, now some of you, uh, this reminds me of receiving Reiki or energy work. So you may need to give yourself uh, some energy or get an energy healing, such as Reiki or Healing Touch, Jin Shin, uh, maybe even a good massage if you have a good massage therapist that you know. Okay, let's get some clarifiers for these cards. We begin with this card here, and we have temperance. Okay, this is that alchemy. This is that understanding. This is giving yourself that time you need to let the chemistry 
do what it's meant to do. And here we have the strength card. You have the strength to let go of old conditioning, to let go of negative relationships, whether it's a job, a, fr a false friend, or just any kind of negative relationship. And then we have the emperor, which is ruled by Aries. We happen to be in Aries season, which initiates spring. Now the emperor is a combination of all four kings and he is very organized, highly energetic, and he has the wisdom of the four kings. And the wisdom of the emperor, I feel, uh, some of that new information that you're taking in and bringing it into your understanding, I think is beautiful with that temperance card. Give you a few more cards. Okay, those fell on the floor. So let me just grab those. Okay. <laughs> so we have the King of Swords here. And to me, the King of Swords is bringing that balance balancing that conditioning we also it came up with the two of swords and to me this is somebody that caused doubt within you with this two of swords causing indecision uh being unable to make a choice you're finding balance there next we have the knight of pentacles and this is slow moving energy. This is bringing more stability into your life. Now the Knights are instigators of change and the change that it's bringing you is your own mind. You are making your own choices and you choose to heal, to heal yourself. And then this death card had flipped over in the deck which gives you a new beginning, a rebirth. Uh, after you go through this death and letting go, and then you have the wisdom, you have new beginnings. And to me, this could be the end of an illness, or at least healing from that illness. Also, the ending of those negative relationships, that, you know, were just very toxic for you. Getting out of a toxic situation, whether it's a job or relationship. Now let's see how the universe has your back. And that is the Oracle deck that I am using here. And we have the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay, as soon as you let go of these negative situations, whether it's a negative job and perhaps you're going back to school to learn something new or supplement that which you already know. And then we have when I lean on with faith of the universe, peace becomes real. You learn from your wisdom of this difficult situation that you've been dealing with that you can trust the universe to bring to you, like the roots of abundance, bringing to you the nutrients that you need to grow and sustain yourself. Next, we have, I choose love no matter what. And here, the moment you realign with love, your direction is clear. You know what you need to do. You feel it inside your gut. You feel it inside your heart. And you're meant to let go of those damaged relationships, 
uh, toxic relationships, toxic jobs, whatever it is in your life. And then we have, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Because where love is, fear disappears. And with this healing, we have that healing card there too. And it could be that some of you are establishing a new relationship or renewing an old relationship where there's a great deal of healing. Perhaps uh, with the lover's card, both of you were working through your traumas from your past, whether it's your childhood or some traumatic event that occurred in your life. And you are healing that. You're learning the wisdom of that pain, the trauma, the lessons that it taught you. And through that healing of that conflict, new growth begins to appear just as with this regeneration card and you clear away the dead stuff, new growth can start appearing. You recycle that dead stuff into fertilizer for the roots to draw up in abundance. And this is the guidance of your wisdom. Okay, pile one, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial and inspiring. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care, my friends. Hello, pile two. If you chose the citrine crystal, welcome to your reading. So first, we're going to look at your three oracle cards to see what's ending and what new beginning is flowing into your life. So we begin with number seven, a deep breath. Well, when you inhale that deep breath, it's time to exhale, to release that and find your calm. Next, we have number 14, truth be told. So as you're exhaling, this might be the perfect time to speak your truth, that which is within your heart. You're opening up your heart and releasing the love contained there. You're building your confidence. We have a young owl here and owls represent wisdom. And because this looks like a baby owl, this could be young wisdom, wisdom that you're just now understanding that came in with this deep breath. And then your divine guidance, we have number one. I will be reading the meaning of that card from this book. And we have angelic being. Your angelic being has been with you since the day of your birth and will continue to be with you when you cross through the veil and return home. Your angelic guardian is asking you to look for signs and synchronicities. They are trying to communicate with you now in a whisper of gentle guidance. You may hear your name being called, feel the subtle touch of a feather or a tender tickle. You may see a sign on a billboard, a magazine, or even on TV. Keep your awareness open to the messages they are bringing you. Okay, well, your angelic being, your guardian angels, are bringing you a new truth. And you could be feeling the tickle of that owl feather. You may even find an owl feather, which is confirmation or you might begin to see angels and owls. Uh, and when you feel tension, take this deep breath and release it because you're meant to release that and let it go. Now let's go deeper with the tarot. Today I am using the Osho Zen Tarot.
And for you, Pile 2, we begin with change. The Wheel of Fortune. With every breath you take, there's change. Then we have a new vision. That's part of your new truth. You're feeling this new vision flowing into you. Your angelic beings are bringing this new truth for you, this new vision. Next, we have sharing. And you're meant to share your gifts. You're meant to share your wisdom. Next, we have Beyond Illusion. Okay, this to me is because we have a butterfly here. That's transformation, change. You're going beyond the illusion. You have grasped your new vision that you are meant to share with the world. The source. Yeah, you're plugging into the source. The source is bringing you this new vision. The source is the universe. God, goddess, the great one. However you perceive that all-encompassing energy. It's beyond our knowing. And you're meant to follow this intuition, this energy that's moving you forward. And then we have laziness. Okay, you're meant to relax. You know, relaxing certainly can turn into laziness. Perhaps some of you have felt stuck and you just didn't really know what to do. So you're just kicking back and enjoying life. But in that relaxation, you discover that which you're meant to share. And there's nothing wrong with taking a little time out. So let's get some clarifiers for you here. Okay, let's start with the cards that fell out. We have the Ace of Wands. This is inspiration, a new idea. It was with the Two of Pentacles. This could be a new idea on how to balance your finances that you have been juggling. There's a shift in your finances. And I feel that it's a positive shift here. Next, we have the Queen of Wands. She is very truthful. She's very creative. She has a very strong presence. And you're moving from this aha moment with the Ace of Wands. And perhaps some of you have come up with a new business idea. And you are meant to demonstrate your new truth your new vision. You're meant to share this idea. And then we have the Ten of Swords, which is ending any kind of negative situation that you've been dealing with. Next, we have the Seven of Wands. Look at you. You are speaking your truth. You are taking the higher road and you are being an example. The Queen of Wands often uses her creativity, her skills to be an example, to be a living example. If the truth be told, you are meant to tell it. And this could involve ending a negative situation and bringing your bright idea into the world that you're meant to share. Okay, there we go. We'll start with these cards that flipped over. We have the Two of Swords. Your indecision is coming to an end on how to balance your finances because there's a shift here, there's a change. 
And I feel that this could also be a promotion or somebody recognizing because up here we have the Ace of Pentacle or the Ace of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. There's a progression here from your idea into generating financial freedom. And here we have the world. The world is your source. And for the Queen of Wands, all the world's a stage. What role are you going to play? Your truth. And then we have the Five of Cups. The ending of sorrow. You're letting that go. And sometimes when we're sad and depressed, it can give other people the impression that we're being lazy. But really, we're just kind of stuck in our thoughts. We're ruminating and or a little bit of escapism there. But that's coming to an end because you have this beautiful new idea that is your new truth that you are bringing into the world to share. Now, let's draw you some cards from The Universe Has Your Back. For any final advice from the source, from the universe. Okay, we have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Okay, remember when I was saying that some of you might have been sad and depressed and now you're finally shaking that off. You're coming back into the light. You're accepting the love of the universe. Here we have the source with the world. You're changing. You're going beyond the illusion. You're taking that deep breath and exhaling. When I lean towards love, I am led. And your angelic being with this number one card here, is leading you. It's that your angel is giving you love, letting you know that you are loved, even in your deepest sorrow. Then we have, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. This is a time for you to remember that where love is, fear disappears. And when you accept the love of the universe as your teacher and the world card and the queen of wands here, this is how you're leading by example. And then we have my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. Again, looking at uh, some sadness here where others might perceive that it's laziness, but when you lack that energy, that's how the universe protects you from getting into accidents or hurting yourself. Uh, through an accident because you're not paying attention, your head's somewhere else. And your angelic being is bringing the love you need into your life so that you can manifest that which you desire, which is this new vision. Some of you might be going into the arts or you have a little side hustle going on where you can generate some extra income. And that's going to bring your doubts and fears to an end because you're meant to share this bright new idea. And you have others there that are cheering you on. The universe is cheering you on. Okay, Pile 2, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful, beneficial, and inspiring. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care, my friends.
Hello, Pile 3. If you chose the hematite, welcome to your reading. So first, we're going to look at your oracle cards, and then we're going to go deeper with the tarot. So let's begin. That card will be revealed a little bit later. So we begin with this card. Number 32, Quieting the Mind. Okay, this is a time for you to find your peace within your being. Quieting the mind. Stop ruminating in the past because when your mind is in the past, you can't be present in the moment. And that rumination can rob you of the present time. And then we have the observer, number 49. To me, this is saying, start observing what's going on around you. Because when you observe, you truly are in the present. You're observing what's around you. You're paying attention. And then we have for your divine guidance, number 44. And I will be reading the meaning of this card from this book. And we have for you divine guidance. Beautiful soul, you play a very important role in awakening of the planet. Your light is so needed here. You are always wrapped in the loving embrace of the divine. It is in those times when your tears may fall or when you feel most alone, that your angels and guides are with you the most, shining their light and love on you. Not for one moment should you doubt this. You, special soul, are being lovingly guided and supported on your path. Divine guidance is leading you gently. Look for the signs, feel the love, and know that you are supported always. Observe, and you will see the signs you are meant to see. They're going to catch your eye. Now, let's go deeper into this reading with some tarot. Today, I am using the Osho Zen Tarot deck. And we begin with Beyond Illusion, Quieting the Mind, Stepping into Reality, but also Tuning into your imagination, Observing your imagination, Seeing what new ideas are coming forth. We have a giant butterfly here, and butterflies are about transformation. Next, we have ordinariness. I love this card underneath the observer. Under, you know, observing the ordinary is going to help bring you into the present. And seeing the extraordinary in the ordinary. And then we have the thunderbolt. Now, this is the same as the tower card, and this is divine intervention. This is your guardian angels coming around you, waking you up, setting you free with the truth, tearing down those walls that have been around you, that you built around you, thinking that it would keep you safe. Next, we have postponement. Okay, this could be that something had to be postponed. Something had to be put on hold. And that has kind of kept you stuck in your head because you want to move forward. Sometimes this can be not knowing what to do, thinking that you have to come up with a solution when the solution will organically occur for you. 
Next we have traveling. Now this could be uh, traveling to the park, some ordinary place. This could be in your garden, your anywhere, anywhere that you want to travel. This can also be traveling with your mind. You know, reading a book, uh, reading uh, anything that inspires you, watching TV or looking at pictures of places that you're drawn to, places that you are interested in. Next, we have awareness. You are very much aware of this awakening. This is the awakening of your ideas, your inspiration, your truth, because the thunderbolt, though it is shocking, and know that your angels are around you when you are experiencing these traumatic situations or situations that can be traumatic. It's just tearing down that which is false. So your truth is seen. Okay, let's go deeper into this reading with some clarifying cards. And we begin with the Seven of Cups. Dreaming. What power? What is it that you want to become? There are many things that you can pour your energy into. Some of it good, some of it not so good. Uh, your self-power. You're going beyond illusion here. But also, don't get caught up. Because the Seven of Cups is about dreaming. And you can be receiving messages in your dreams. So observe your dreams. Next we have Temperance. Okay, you're meant to blend these together. Observe the ordinary and see the extraordinary within it. Next we have the Three of Pentacles. This can be new contracts, new money that's coming into you from your work. This is taking action. Next, we have the lover's card. This is a postponement. Now, this could be a postponement of a wedding or some kind of engagement where things have to be put on hold. And yes, that can be disappointing for whatever reason that's being put on hold. And you're meant to quiet that mind, you know, quiet your mind. Um, yes, you might experience that disappointment. You know, know that your angel is here to help you through those times when you're releasing your sorrow, your sadness. Next, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, this is moving out of the troubled waters into calmer waters. This can also mean a proposal of marriage. And I say that because we have the Lover's card here. And there's traveling. So you might be traveling somewhere where you are going to be proposed to. Or this could be... Uh, where you're going to go on your honeymoon. Next, we have the Five of Cups with releasing that sorrow, releasing that disappointment, knowing that you're moving into the healing waters here. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Look at that. You go from the Three of Pentacles here to the Six of Pentacles. You're progressing from sadness to uh, getting the financial assistance, whether it's through a new job or a financial windfall. And I feel like that it is coming from this new contract or this new job. 
You may have lost an old job that you really weren't too happy about. You didn't know where you were going. Uh, and it left you dreaming, you know, what am I doing with my life? I feel like I'm stuck in a nowhere job and the postponement, you know, of possibly a promotion or a raise. And then you are able to find a new work so source. This could also be a side hustle that you do to uh, supplement your finances. Again, this could be receiving that windfall so that you can invest in yourself, invest in that idea. This could also be someone seeing uh, your idea and investing in your idea, but you're going to receive the finances that you need, the assistance that you will need. So now let's look at how the universe has your back. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So if you're feeling that disappointment or just feeling disillusioned of some situation in your life, whether it's work, love, relationship, you're going to... Once you release that with this thunderbolt, the tower card, that's when the universe can get to work with this three of pentacles, helping you to uh, feel that, ah, this just actually opened up an opportunity for me. Observe that. Okay, let's get you some more cards from how the universe has your back. We have my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. Okay, so when you're feeling lost in your own mind, just surrender to the universe. I know it's easier said than done. But when you let go, because there's really nothing else that you can do. Next we have, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. And look, we have beyond illusion with that seven of cups, which represents dreams. So listen to your dreams. They are bringing you messages of love. And then... In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So, yes, I'm going to end your reading here, Pile 3. I hope that you found it helpful, beneficial, and inspiring. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time... Take care, my friends.